Boston Celtics are on a 15-game winning streak, taking over the top spot in the Eastern Conference, and during the streak, their net rating of plus 9.4 ranks them third in the league. With five players averaging double figures and two more at nine points per game, this balanced attack has kept everyone involved, with plenty of energy left for the defensive end, where they are holding teams to the best overall defensive rating in six NBA seasons. How are they doing it? Let's start by looking at Kyrie Irving. While his stats have dropped off a bit from last year, he looks like a slightly different player to me. In the past, he'd have long stretches in Cleveland where once he decided to drive to the basket, he simply wasn't going to pass the ball, leading to lots of very difficult and off-balance shots. Brad Stevens has got him buying into the quick ball movement and spacing of the Celtics, and he's harder to guard since he's almost always looking for the pass, keeping the defense constantly guessing what he wants to do. There may have been evidence of his ability to make these passes in Cleveland, but he's doing it routinely now in Boston and his teammates are all benefiting. His defense has also been a revelation as he's shown much more energy on this end to get around ball screens and to get re-engaged in the play once his man gets around the pick. Suddenly, he's making a lot of good plays to stop the offense and it's a stark comparison to his poor effort keeping the ball in front of him and lack of desire to recover once he got beat in Cleveland. For whatever reason, he's giving the Celtics a lot more there and it's a big factor to their stellar defensive rating. Another huge factor is their three-point defense. They're third in the league in percentage and fourth in giving up three-point attempts per game. And a big reason for this is how consistent they are at denying middle penetration. You can see how it's a team-wide concept to prevent the ball from getting in the paint. And then supreme effort to leave their feet and contest the shot in the air. This is the new fundamental way of defending the outside shot. And you can see what happens when you allow middle penetration the defense is forced to rotate and scramble, and wide open three-point shots result. The Celtics coaching staff has them dialed in to stop middle, and then to contest in the air at all costs. The last piece of the puzzle, and what amounts to their secret weapon, are the plays that Brad Stevens draws up. While they're inbounding from the baseline, they continually out-execute teams with the simple stuff, running this dive to the hoop early and often, and even when teams stop the initial cutter to the hoop, there's plenty of motion and flow into another good shot. When they need a bucket in a crucial moment of the game coming out of a timeout, he's got a lot of tricks in his bag, and the Celtics can count on several points a game on these types of plays alone. While they've struggled a bit to consistently score here, Stevens has shown over time that he's a master of drawing them up and getting his team to execute them. So this streak will probably have to come to an end sooner than later, as they're in the midst of playing four road games this week alone. But it has shown us they have the ability to spread the ball around, lock their opponents down with their length, quickness, and pressure, and should be the favorites to represent the Eastern Conference in June, putting them firmly back in the pantheon of great Celtics teams of the past, ones who expected nothing less than a trip to the finals and usually even more. Sports fans, to see more of our great NBA content and analysis, make sure to hit the subscribe button, but also click the bell and adjust your settings so you can get an alert the second our videos drop. Because trust me, you're going to want them hot and fresh. You in?